Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and the creator of the Create Cosmetic Formulas program. Now, I get asked a lot of questions about substituting ingredients and in particular, how to substitute different surfactants or foaming agents for each other in formulations. Now, this is not necessarily the easiest thing to do to get a predictable outcome, but with the Create Cosmetic Formulas program, it makes your substitution job so much easier and more predictable because every formula works. Let me show you how to pick and choose between the different surfactants so that you can make sure your formulas always come together and give you the performance you're looking for. First, log into the program, into the skin and hair care version, and let's select the shampoo. Now, we've got a similar setup for a face wash, a face scrub, a body wash, and a body scrub as well. But I'm gonna show you with the shampoo formula in particular. We also have an all natural shampoo version in case you want to use only natural ingredients in your formulation. And click create. Now, once you're into the program, it will look like this. All of the ingredients where we have red means you definitely need to select those ingredients for the formula to come together. I'm going to focus a lot in this video on making your surfactant selections. Now, you don't need to know what an anionic surfactant is or an amphoteric surfactant or a super fatting agent. You only need to make your selections that I've loaded into the program for you. So click on the select button here and you'll see the program gives you a lot of different choices. Now there's a lot of different surfactant ingredients you can choose from out there. So remember to watch our video on how to source ingredients and get to know the types of ingredients the suppliers near you have. I'll show you a couple of different examples with a supplier in the US and Australia, but just remember to visit our website and our ingredient suppliers list to find an ingredient supplier near you or in a country near you. The better you get to know the materials that your suppliers can provide, the more choice you'll have when it comes to picking your ingredients. And all of the suppliers that we have listed on this page provide ingredients in small quantities for those wanting to formulate at home or for their small brand, just like you. So back to the program and let's say, for example, we would like to use the sodium cocal apple amino acids. First of all, go to your suppliers page and type in a couple of the key words so that you can do a broad search. You can see here that they have a foaming apple and they've listed sodium cocal apple amino acids as the name of that material. If we check this against the program, we can see it's the same ingredient. You can click on it to get more information about the material. And yes, this is definitely the same material we have listed in the program. So you can choose this one as you know that you can source it easily. What about another example from a different supplier? Let's say now we wanna look for the sodium cocoa glutamate. Again, type in a couple of the words to broaden your cert and you would see that this supplier would normally stock this material but is currently out of stock. But that's okay because the program has loads of choices so you can pick one of the materials that are listed here. Now what I've also done to help you with your choices is I list out whether they're naturally derived or whether they're naturally derived with a synthetic portion or whether they're totally synthetic so you can pick and choose how natural or not you want your ingredients to be. I also give you some tips about the different materials so that you can pick and choose materials to suit different sorts of hair or body products specific to what you're trying to formulate that day. So let's go back to our apple amino acid selection. We're going to pick that and return to the formula. Now, the formula will also guide you on how much you need. If you've never used the material before and you know nothing else about the material, start somewhere in the middle. 
When it comes to foaming formulas and substituting your ingredients, you'll need different inputs of different materials. But I've loaded that into the formulation program for you so that you don't need to worry about how much should you use to get the right results. Just remember to pick within the range that the program tells you. I've loaded in there the different amounts that different types of foaming agents will need so that your formula will always work. Now when you want more foam and a stronger clean, use the high end of the amount that I've entered into the program. If you don't want much foam or you want a really gentle clean, then use the low end of what I've entered into the program. And if you know nothing else about the material, start somewhere in the middle. Now you'll see that an amphoteric material in this formula is also needed. So you can again pick and choose from the options provided here. Just remember to cross check with your supplier to make sure that you can get that material. Here's an example where you can see that the inky name does not match what's in the program. So that's not the same material. But that's all right, we can pick another one. As you can see, this is a material that's listed in the program. So now that we know we can source it, let's select that one and use that in our formula. Again, if you want a lot of foam, use the high end of the amount I've entered in the program for you. If you want a low foam or a really gentle clean, use the low end. And if you're not sure and you've never used it before, use somewhere in the middle. Now in the program, I have a couple of choices. We can add a super fatting agent, which will add mildness to your formula, but still foam really well. And if you have the budget, you can choose to add a non-ionic surfactant as well as the other surfactants listed. You'll notice this one I've put in black because it's not always necessary in your formula. Whereas a super fatting agent for mildness is. So again, make your selection, make sure your supplier can provide it for you and add it into your formula. One of the other things I've done for you in the program is I've made sure that you're always going to select compatible ingredients. In this case, because of some of the materials I've chosen, these preservative choices here would be incompatible. But you don't have to worry about knowing that because I've built it into the program to make sure you're always making a compatible selection. So that way you can use materials that will always work in your formulas. Then I can just select the rest of the ingredients I need to use. You can choose to add additional ingredients like polyquaternium agents that will add conditioning benefits, actives for additional performance, or extracts for additional marketing story and performance claims, essential oils or fragrances, or oils to condition the hair as well. So let's say I want to add some extracts. I might want to add some hydrolyzed proteins. And I might want to add some essential oils. Then I can click on generate method and there is my full formula and method. Now when putting together a foaming product, it needs to be put together in a certain way. So again, the program uses the materials you've selected and then I've built into the back end of the program so that it knows how to put the ingredients together for you so that you get step-by-step -step instructions so that your formula always comes together perfectly. And pH is important for your foaming products as well. So I've even given you a pH range you need your finished product to be so that your formula works every single time. So there you go. That's how to substitute different ingredients in your foaming formulas. 
We also have an organic version of this program if you wanted to make a Cosmos certifiable foaming product as well. Just remember to log in and make your selections. The program will guide you the rest of the way on the right inputs, the right method, and how to substitute different ingredients so that you stop wasting ingredients because every formula works. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to substitute your surfactant and foaming ingredients. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to createcosmeticformulas.com so you can get creating your own foaming, cleansing and surfactant products easily and with confidence. Happy formulating.